Hey guys, my name is Evan and welcome to Country View Acres. So over the last eight weeks we have been raising Cornish cross chickens and for the last four or five weeks we've had them out on pasture in a chicken tractor and today those chickens they are well on their way to freezer camp. Um, me and Rebecca processed those chickens this morning. Ended up taking us about four hours this morning to process all 23 chickens to get them in the state they are in now. And you can see the chickens right now are in these two coolers sitting on ice. And what we're planning on doing is we're going to let them rest for like a day or two on ice before we package them and put them in the freezer. So last year what we did is we just took all of our chickens and we used shrink bags and we we froze them as whole roasting chickens. Now this year we're probably going to do the same thing on about half of them and the other half what we're going to do is we're going to try to cut them up into chicken pieces. Um, so we'll probably try to make chicken quarters which is going to be the leg thigh combination and then we'll probably cut them up into chicken breasts and to chicken wings and then we'll package those up. We'll probably vacuum seal those and put those in the freezer but we're not going to Put any of this in the freezer for probably a day or so but for today after we processed all those chickens you end up getting you end up getting livers you end up getting gizzards and you end up getting chicken feet and chicken hearts you end up with all these other parts well we end up having chicken necks 23 chicken necks and that is going to make us a bunch of chicken broth and um, so what we're going to do is we've got a big stock pot inside so we're going to mix up some broth tonight and I think that stock pot is like a 22 quart big roasting pan. So when we're done with this, we'll probably cook that chicken broth for a couple days too to cook it down. But we'll end up with probably close to three, four gallons of chicken broth just from this one batch. So let's go ahead and head inside and start making some broth. So we've put water in our stock pot. We've got all 23 chicken necks and then we've added some salt and pepper. Next thing we're going to put in, this is some fresh thyme. We just cut this from the garden. We'll put some thyme in there. Go ahead throw a couple bay leaves in there. The next thing we're going to put in is going to be parsley. So we're going to take four peeled carrots and cut those up into fairly decent sized chunks. We're going to take four stalks of celery, just do a rough cut on those, we'll throw those in. So these are onions that we overwintered in the garden, we still have a few of these left. We'll put these in the stock pot. So now that we got all our ingredients in there, we're just filling it up to the top with water. And then we'll start it up and let it cook for a couple days. So we're just going to set this at 200 degrees so it simmers. So for butchering our chickens, we pretty much have the same setup we had last year. So we just use an old turkey fryer as a scalding pot. We've been using 150 degree water. And then this year we dunked them and it worked out to be about 40 seconds and then the feathers would pull freely. And then we'd put the chicken in our whiz bang chicken plucker. This is a, um, this is like a, a build it yourself uh, chicken plucker. There's plans on the internet to build one of these. And I didn't build it, I bought it off of somebody used, but it works fairly well. So we'd put the chicken in here, it'd take about, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 seconds and then all the feathers would be off of the chicken. So uh, same equipment we used last year. Now, one thing that is different this year is we ended up buying these, uh, the chicken restraining cones. And this is what you put the chicken in when, when you go to dispatch it. You put it in there upside down and its head sticks out the bottom. And we ended up buying four of these 
and it really sped everything up, I think. It made everything go a lot smoother. We have a homemade one, and we just had one, and it was too small. And uh, I think these worked out fairly well. They're big enough you can actually get your hand inside of there if you need to. But, um, yeah, the, having four of these restraining cones definitely sped everything up, made everything go a lot quicker. And uh, I think this year um, everything went really smooth for the butchering process. So it's three days later now, so we're finally going to freeze the chicken. So we've picked out 13 of the best looking chickens and we're just going to freeze those as whole roasting chickens. So we've got them in the shrink bags. We're just going to shrink them up real quick. And just a few seconds in 190 degree water and shrunk right up. There's a tube that goes down in the bag to let the air go out as we uh, as we shrink it down. So the rest of the chicken we're going to cut up into pieces and um, some of them don't necessarily look perfect. Um, when you go through the whole butchering process there is um, sometimes you get a broken leg or you might get a broken wing um, when you pluck the chicken and when you go through the whole uh, process. So the other ones aren't exactly perfect and they'll work better for ones to cut into pieces. All right, last one. Huh, got cut on the bag. All right. So what we'll do now is we'll just cut the, re the extra part of this bag off and then we'll put them in the freezer. But uh, we'll probably go ahead and just get a, a weight on a few of these real quick, just kind of see what the biggest ones, how much the biggest ones weigh, just kind of maybe what the average weight ended up being. Six pounds, nine and a half ounces, roughly. That's probably average size, don't you think? Six pounds, three ounces. Six pounds even. Yeah, so there's three at least over six pounds. What's this one? Five pounds, 14 ounces roughly. So, not too bad, I don't think. Can you read that? No. <laughs> you can slide it back further. Six pounds. Yeah. All right. This is one of the, this is one of the small ones right here. Four pounds. Four and a half pounds. Yeah. So it looks like what anywhere from four and a half to six and a half pounds somewhere in there. So I think they turned out pretty good. Some of these are going to be big roasting chickens. I think. Mm -hmm. So we just got done cutting up our first chicken. So we've got two chicken quarters here. We've got our two chicken breasts. We've got our two tenderloins. They actually come off the bottom of the chicken breast. And then we're, our wings, we cut off the tips and then we cut the wings in half and you end up with like little wings that like you'd buy at the grocery store for making like hot wings out of. So we're gonna freeze all of these separate items and then everything that was left, like the backbone and everything we got in this bag and we're gonna make more chicken broth out of all the leftover parts.
So we're done cutting up the chicken and we ended up with a total of five bags of chicken breasts. There's four in each bag. There's five bags of chicken quarters, four in each bag. And then we've got a couple bags of the drumettes or the wingettes. Uh, we'll be able to make like buffalo wings out of these. And then we've got a couple bags of the tenderloins. And then when it was all said and done, we ended up with a couple bags of the leftover chicken bones and like the little parts and stuff that we cut off. And um, we'll end up with at least two more batches of chicken broth to make when this is all done. So we'll have quite a bit of chicken broth when this is finished. So the chicken broth has been cooking for five days and um, you can see that it's cooked down about two inches. You've got some chicken fat that has risen to the top and then all the vegetables have sunk to the bottom. So we're going to strain this out through a colander and then we're going to strain it a second time through a cloth. So while that batch is canning, we went ahead and started another batch of broth. Same ingredients. We just got, uh, instead of chicken necks, it's like three sets of chicken bones inside of there. So we just got done canning the first batch of chicken broth. Ended up with 14 quarts and eight pints. That's four and a half gallons of chicken broth. So that's quite a bit. Now all this looks fairly dark in here, the lighting, it's cloudy outside and it's not very bright in here. So let me take you over to the light, shine a little light through it. And then now you can see the color of the chicken broth. It is a fairly dark chicken broth, um, but it's a nice looking broth. So we pressure can these and all of them sealed but one, this one right here didn't seal. We're going to put that in the refrigerator and uh, that'll be the first one we use. So the chickens are all processed now, they're all packaged up and they're put in our freezer. And that ended up filling up about half of our chest freezer with chicken. So the, uh, the chicken livers, we ended up, divided those into two packages, vacuum sealed those, we froze the livers as well. Now the gizzards, the hearts, and the chicken feet, we actually did something different this year. We took those and we put those in the dehydrator on high for about three days and then we are using those as dog treats. So we give them to the dogs for a nice little snack, something to chew on, and I think that's worked out fairly well so that um, definitely makes it so that everything gets put to a good use. Now, the other thing that we did different is we did take um, about 10 chickens. I think we took 10 chickens and we cut those up into pieces. And I think that worked out fairly well because we were able to cut those into more portion sizes um, instead of having to be able to cook like a whole chicken at a time. Um, I think that'll work out that worked out fairly well But the thing I think I liked about it the most is that when you were done cutting it up You ended up with the chicken bones from the middle So you ended up with all these chicken bones to be able to make broth out of and we're on our second batch of broth right now But we still have enough chicken bones that we, we put them in the freezer We froze them and we'll be able to make two more batches of broth uh, Probably later this fall. That's what we'll do. We'll probably take them back out and uh, make some more broth but uh, yeah, I think it all worked out fairly well. Everything went fairly quickly and smoother this time. I think we're either getting better at it or, or something because it just seemed like it, it, uh, it went fairly well for us this time for sure. So just thought I'd share with you guys what we're doing with, with raising our own chickens and uh, basically processing those into different things for us to be able to eat later. So I think that's it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.